All right, you lot, how's it going? Recently, I decided to put my name out there for my aerial photography and videos uh, with the help of Philip from Chateau Life, who put my contact details forward to a forum to every chateau that was featured on the Escape to the Chateau DIY show on Channel 4 in the UK. I've also contacted a few property owners myself to see if they'd be interested in any photos or videos of their property. And I've had one lady get back to me who owns a place called Chateau de Fontenay, which is 12 minutes from me. So I'm gonna go there today uh, just to meet with her. The weather's not particularly great, so I don't know if I'd be able to get any photos or videos that would do the place justice. But I'm gonna meet her anyway, and uh, I'm heading there in about 20 minutes because what I've decided to do is offer people photos and videos of their property, their land, their chateau, their business, uh, whatever it may be, either for free on the condition that I get to use the footage and the photos uh, myself for, for my YouTube page or Patreon or Facebook or Instagram or whatever reason, or they pay the standard fee and, and it's all theirs to do with what they will. So I'm gonna head over there now and I'll give you an eagle eye tour of the place. Let's go. I'm really enjoying doing these videos and discovering these new places that to my shame, a few of them I had no idea they're actually around here when they are quite literally on my back doorstep. That would help enormously if I knew where I was going. All right, you lot, stop distracting me. I have to drive. Here we are. This looks lovely, doesn't it, with the uh, the arched trees? So I'm not sure if this lady's English or French. So I ended up speaking in both, and she understood. So uh, <laughs> whichever will uh, will make it work. I've just finished my initial tour of the grounds with Josephine. So she's actually from Hong Kong, lives in France, speaks English and French. So that lady is diversity personified. She showed me around and there's a chapel that's quite tucked away here in the woods. I'm gonna see if I can get any, uh, any decent shots, but I'm a little bit scared of crashing because it is, uh, it's quite built up, built up wood. I'll, uh, yeah, check it out. Uh, there's the chapel. So this is how built up it is, but I'll, I'll do my best. If not, we'll just go handheld. Yeah, there's no way I'll get the drone in here without doing some serious damage. So we'll just go handheld.
Okay, so walking through the woods and filming that chapel, I've actually come across a Zen garden, complete with Buddha statue. There's enough room above the trees that I can get a top-down shot. This is, this is really lovely. This is something I haven't seen before. Let's get airborne. Okay, you lot, I think that'll do me for today. There's about 20 minutes of aerial footage and photographs that I need to edit and get to Josephine. I uh, would like to thank her very much for allowing me to visit her wonderful chateau. I hope you lot enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed being here. I particularly enjoyed that Zen garden. I know that's where I'd be spending most of my time if I lived here. Uh, I'd also like to say a quick thank you to everyone who has subscribed and commented and your words of encouragement. It's given me... Um, a definite boost in confidence to, to keep doing this. So I really appreciate all of you. But the sky is getting quite threatening now. Flying in the rain isn't good for anybody. So thanks again for watching guys. Look after yourselves, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.